Hello and welcome, fellow cutters, to another Hard Space Shipbreaker video. I am Tarka the Newt, and this is going to be my sort of little crash course for this game. Um, I have a special method technique that I like to use that's very efficient for harvesting mackerels, uh, or salvaging, however you want to put it, and uh, I want to show it to you guys because... I think it's pretty cool, and I wish that I had known about this when I started, but uh, yeah, anyway, here we go. Let's just jump right in, pick a cargo ship, and go. Um, the The music in this game is uh, very yeehaw in a good kind of way. It's, it's the most yeehaw music I've heard in a video game uh, pretty much ever, but uh, I like that. It, it kind of reminds me of... Um, What's it called? Firefly. Yes, Firefly. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Okay, so we got our mackerel here. And um, the first thing you want to do is release these to cells. And uh, if you're, depending on what type of ship you have, the uh, connector will tell you how it should be cut. This type of connector, like the bar connector like this, is generally fine. Uh, the big thing you want to worry about is there's a fuel tank right there. So you don't want to do anything to pop that because it will definitely damage some of your stuff. Um, so I'm just going to cut right through it. Yep, that's just that's just fine. Cut through this guy. I'm wasting time talking when I should be harvesting. Salvaging. I keep saying harvesting. I don't, I don't know why. I, um, I have a congenital memory disorder that's... Uh, all the men in my family have it, actually. And uh, it... It's not that my memory is bad. I actually have quite good memory. It's that, um, oh boy, how do I say it? I, uh, I have trouble accessing my memory when I need it. It's all there. I just, when I need it, I can't get it. <laughs> so I have, it, in practice, it means that I, I have a tendency to see, say strange things in sentences because I, I forget words like, um, uh, like my wife just left on a camping trip and took the dog, and so when I talked to one of my coworkers at work, I was like, "Oh yeah, my wife left me and took the dog," <laughs> and she's like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry," but it's you know it just uh, I don't even know what terminology I wanted to be. Um, <laughs> Anywho, I, I'm forgetting to tell you what to do here. What's once you get inside the airlock, uh, yeah, don't cut in from outside, obviously. Once you get inside, you want to hit the atmospheric regulator. And then once you hit that and the pressurizer, the pressure is regulated, then you want to hit the airlock again. Airlock so it just opens this up. I, I like to do that right away, just so it's done. But uh, take a look at what you got here. Because a lot of times, if you're doing cargo ships, there'll be all kinds of cool stuff like this. These are O2 canisters, these are fuel tanks. Always pick up the repair kits, always, 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 because you hold on to those and can use them later. These, you want to kind of try and leave laying around so that you have them when you need them, because like just there, I picked it up even though I wasn't full, and it filled me, like I could pick up another O2 canister right now if I wanted to, but it would be wasted, right? I mean, it's, it still gives you the money for it, but it, um, I think you get what I'm saying. Anywho, first thing you want is this reactor, and that is actually the most valuable thing, uh, like single single most valuable object you're probably going to harvest. Now, there's fuel tanks behind here, so we want to make sure we're not cutting in such a way that the sparks fly at the fuel tank. You can see how the sparks are shooting out? Yep, that's what you want. You want to shoot away from that. Um, so I released the deck plating, and now you can push this out with an F, but it'll kind of go flying. I like to just sort of jet myself at it, and it'll push it out a little bit so that I can... And then you just grab it with a tether. Tether that off into the uh, processor there. And it does kind of tend to whip around, so keep an eye out. Anyway, this is what I do. I get directly under it, hit it with a tether, Right click, you can hold down right click, and then you can just, if you're directly below it, you can just see see what I'm doing. It's like through me, so I know it's going to go straight to the barge. But the second you release right click, you got to book it. Like just get out of the way. And uh, there we go. There we go. That's 
a full reactor. That's a lot of money right there. And uh, that's one of the most important things on our work order. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to free this uh, plate back here. What's it called? Thruster plate? Thruster cap? Whatever. Uh, so to do that, it's just like freeing any other object. You just walk up, walk up, fly up, hold down left click. Sometimes it geeks out. This one, this one seems to be doing okay. This has to go in the processor. So I'm just going to push it right over and whoop, and it goes. Now it's going to hit the wall and bounce a little bit, but it's it's fine. You can try and guide it in a little bit. You can see it has hit points, but the thruster caps are pretty tough. Uh, you're not going to damage them. Same with uh, cargo containers, you're, you're not likely to damage them. But things like this, like electronics and equipment, you got to be really gentle with. Oh god, of course. And uh, it already just smacked against a bunch of stuff. It just the game is is still early access, so it has a tendency to uh, glitch out when certain things happen, like uh, <laughs> like grabbing stuff like that. It just I sometimes it just geeks out on you. But anywho, so there's that. And now let me show you how my technique works. So. You have these fuel tanks back here, and they're connected to the rear, which we need to detach. So, making sure that you're shooting away from the fuel tanks. You can see that it's angled out, which I, I have to imagine the devs did intentionally. So that means you can have the sparks shooting out away from the fuel tanks. I'm just going to release those. Kill those off. There we go. And now... Um, this rear panel will be released from the rest of the ship and we can just push it. If you ever wonder if something's actually released, you can kind of push it with your, your jet. It takes a minute. You could do it like that if you wanted to, but I'm going to actually go like this. Um, and you want to get as dead center as you can. Hit it with that and then tether it to this guy. Just keep an eye out. You want to make sure your fuel tanks don't bump into anything. So you hit V, and that'll stop, that'll kill the tether, and there we go. Now we can just harvest these fuel tanks without worrying about blowing ourselves up or our salvage. salvage just shoot them right in there and get the full amount for them without damaging them. And now all of this, everything that's left on there, can just go straight in the processor. And um, One tether should do it, but I think I'm going to hit it with two just to make sure go if it takes too long see the thing is it'll be enough but if it takes too long um, your tether has a timed life so you want to just make sure that it has enough life to get there so this is a big part of, of the technique that I use so I freed that and now now I can just go straight through here cut all these off what is flashing like that what is flashing like that Oh, that's kind of freaking me out a little bit, actually. But, um, okay, the first thing I'm going to do, actually, uh, actually, 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 <laughs> um, I'm going to grab some of these, first of all. <coughs> and I'm going to cut off all these plates. That's what I usually do first, is I cut off the plates. Just be careful. You can see the bar on the right on your cutting tool. Use the, what is it, the viper? The stinger, the stinger. Yeah, the, um, what is it, this one is really only good for cutting through walls and shit. Um, but yeah, just release all the deck plates and make sure <laughs> those are oxygen. Uh, ooh, what in the world? Did that happen? What did that? Ugh, this game is just so glitchy sometimes. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. No, don't go into the frickin' barge. This is, I, this is a big part of why I, I, I don't make my time sometimes. It's because the game is just kind of glitchy from time to time. It just, it does that. It's early access. I think I said that before. It's early access. It, this is the most feature complete early access game I've ever seen. Like, it's so just playable. And, ah, oh, I love it. But uh, I was trying to tell you before, I don't think I completed my thought, but yeah, you don't want sparks shooting at these because they will explode. And 
and uh, you, you don't want to blow those up. So I'm going to try and hit these on the side. Oh, okay, that, that was almost very really bad. Just hit them on the side here. Um, usually I can do all of this in a single day, but um, which is 15 minutes, but I, I, I know I'm not going to. Um, I'll go through the entire salvage process with you guys just so that you know what's up. Right, you know, I'll, I'll go to a second shift. I, I really don't want this video to be too long, but at the same time, I, I want to give everybody as much information as possible. And uh, one thing I definitely have to say is that there's no wrong way to do any of this. Oh, hey, Weaver. What's up, man? How y'all doing? You up there in that dungar in the control tower up there? Yeehaw! <laughs> Sorry, I... Uh, I did grow up in the mountains of Pennsylvania, I'll have you know. Anywho, just, uh, I just gotta tether that down. I probably don't have to, but I'm going to, because uh, I'm going to. <laughs> this game makes me feel very yee haw. Did I, did I mention that I live in a trailer park? I, I live in a trailer park. I actually quite like the people I live with. They're very nice, very sweet people. Oh, I've been forgetting about the lamps. Yeah, oh, damn it. Yeah, you can pull these lights off if you want to. I don't always, but, I mean, they are worth some money if you really care. Not worth that much. Uh, oh, there's the other one. Salvage deposit accepted. But, um, and then, the big thing for me is they're not worth that much, and they take, like, a decent amount of time to pull off. Um, oh, there it is. Salvage secured. Ah, furnace, yes. So, if you're ever wondering... Uh, where to put something, you can point your cursor at it and see there in the middle above my oxygen reader it says processor. That one says barge. Yep, that's how you just, you just look at it, basically. Yeah, I am ashamed <laughs> to admit how long it took me to realize that. Like, I, I honestly had no idea. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. <laughs> all right let's get you in there so we got all those plates out um so now i'm just going to go in through this wall i have a few minutes so i'm going to cut this wall out uh, i might leave the cargo and stuff for tomorrow so yeah i'll just go through here cut all this out and bam. Uh, now when you're doing this it's a good idea to turn your light on press l um, and you can immediately see, because it's mostly because of the contrast between the darkness and the bright cutting light. And now this is very important. There's a uh, coolant tank here that I don't want to pop because it'll damage all of this stuff here. Um, so just make sure you're cutting away from it like I showed you before. You want the spray to go away from... Wow, oh, okay, I accidentally hit my hand key. You want the spray to go away from what you're trying to save, basically. Um, there's another precaution you can take. If you see the bar filling up on the uh, cutter, uh, you can see it at the bottom, too, on the HUD. Just um, once you've cut through, just wait for that to go back down before you use it again. And that'll minimize uh, the amount of heat that you're producing in the nearby area. And that's, that's very important. Also, if your cutter is damaged, it's more likely to produce a lot of heat, so that's a thing too. Um, I'm just going to grab these lights. I, I'm going to do another shift, so I'm going to have the time. Usually I'm in a huge hurry, and I just I want to do everything in one shift, but I, I've already kind of wasted a bunch of time, so I'm just, I'm just going to do two. Uh, like I said, I, I didn't plan on this being like a half hour, 45 minute video, but I guess I don't have a choice. I, I thought I could do it. I thought I could do this uh, in one shift while talking and explaining things to you guys, but I really can't. And uh, you can see the hit points there. That's something I didn't really explain either. You can see the hit points on the electronics. Uh, the electronics, uh, it's very important that you don't bop them into anything because uh, you'll damage them when you do. Things like cargo containers, um, steel plating, doors, things like that. You generally don't have to worry about smacking them into things. It won't damage them. But um, 
Uh, oh, you know what? Let me. I'm gonna finish cutting here rather than going to buy stuff because I only have 30 seconds. But uh, when you're moving electronics like these things, if you smack them into stuff, it damages them, and uh, the electronics. I, the more damaged something is, the less valuable it is. So you want you want to avoid damaging things from pulling them out, basically. <laughs> I always try to over-explain things because of the aforementioned memory problem. I, I'm always worried that people won't understand me because I, I, I tend to use strange terminology sometimes. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, just if you're in a hurry, you can do that. Cut. Just keep in mind that produces a lot of heat, so don't do that around your fuel tanks and stuff. But uh, yeah, there's day one. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Uh, and you can see I made 1.4 1. 1. Mil million, which is nothing to sneeze at. Um, oh, that's strange. Where did I lose nanocarbon? So nanocarbon's this uh, outer plating, and it's worth quite a bit. I'm not sure what I destroyed that was nanocarbon, though. Oh, well. Uh, it wasn't that much, so I'm not that worried about it. And yeah, I mean, we definitely, even with this, we made pretty pretty damn near close a million credits in that one shift so oops i'm gonna go into my equipment and uh yeah I'm gonna put that guy. so all right let's get out of here and go back to the next shift i'm gonna waste you guys time and i'll show you how i finish this off uh so i want to go back and talk about the difference between the split saw and the stinger the stinger produces ten well tends to produce more heat uh in a but it's all in one at one point so um you can avoid you know damaging things like fuel tanks uh and potentially like causing explosions and things like that um, however the the cutter doesn't technically produce more heat but um it is more hot right where you're shooting at if that makes sense I, I don't know it's a little more complicated than i'm capable of explaining but anyway don't use this near these canisters but uh you can sort of see here what i'm going for i remove all this stuff uh so that these are exposed and then i can just sit here and pull them out without having to bump them through a bunch of walls and stuff or pull them through some awkward hole that i cut in a wall um, I can get a good distance away from them because of that right there. And, oh, God, did it blow up the, the stuff? Oh, no, no. Now my stuff is safe. Excellent. Okay, so now I'm just going to do the same thing on this side. And um, you can save see, you can save a lot of time with this, but it just it, it's more likely to blow stuff up, basically. That's the difference. It takes longer to cut with this. But if you cut next to a canister with this, you're gonna just you're gonna blow up that canister. That's just all there is to it. So that's that's why you use the what is it the stinger versus the split saw. Um, also, the split saw. Oops, dang it! What the hell? I did not press Z or X, and that's definitely what it was doing. <laughs> this game, I swear. But uh, what was I saying? Saying, oh yeah, the split saw is mostly used to cut panels, um, which I'll show you in a minute. Anywho, uh, I want to continue. Oh right, okay. So the next part, I definitely need to get into this compartment, but I don't want to go cutting dangerous holes into walls because there's a uh, a coolant tank there. So I'm going to free the cockpit from this frame here. Uh, and to do that, I'm just going to break these cut points, and you know what, I'm going to grab this. This is thruster fuel, which is for your, you know, is what makes you go. It's what's moving me around right now. But um, I just, I don't want to risk blowing it up. I have a feeling I, I was going to pop that, because there's no really good way to, you know, I probably could have shot it out the side, but I just want to be safe in this instance. So if you're ever wondering if you freed an area of the ship from another, the best way to do that is to just, whoop, oh, not that, <laughs> is to push against it. Now, this frame here is a part of this frame, but this is the cockpit. So I want to avoid this while pushing against the cockpit. And you can see, you can 
and I'm pushing it away. But that's very slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this with a tether and tether it to something that I know won't move, like my habitat. That's also I'm pretty sure that's why stuff like this is here, so you can tether things away. And uh, just once it's open enough and you, you like where it's at, you can hit V and stop it from moving. I actually I kind of waited too long, if I'm being honest. But um, that's all right. It's not moving that fast. I can still get what I need. So I'm gonna try and, and just try and shoot at a spot that's as far away from the canister as you can get. And don't shoot past it. Like you want to avoid doing this right here. You want this more generally speaking. That right there was actually kind of dangerous, if I'm being honest. Let's get the top of it. There we go. Alrighty. Alrighty, Roo. You are all set, Mr. Panel. There you go, Mr. Nanocarbon. The nanocarbon plating is probably um, the most valuable uh, component on the ship that you'll find. Uh, whereas the uh, what is it? The reactor would be the most valuable, I don't know, item, object. <laughs> the things you have to free from the walls and whatnot. So, yeah. Um, if you... Why did, I, I brought that up because if you have a bunch of metal plating, like aluminum plating, like this stuff, and you see it says panel aluminum, and you can't figure out a way to tie in, in a timely manner to remove it from this uh, nanocarbon paneling, then just pull it into the processor. Just pull it all into the processor. The, the, aluminum, the aluminum will be destroyed, but uh, the nanocarbon's worth a lot more. Uh, speaking of being worth a lot more, this is something I didn't know. These door panels are worth a surprising amount. So you definitely want to harvest them whenever you get the chance. I usually wait until I've pulled the, uh, what is it, that electrical battery thing off. You saw me pull it earlier. Um, oh, there's still this, though, the power junction. Oh, these things are a pain in the ass. I, I can never get them off without causing a power arc. And there's a bunch of stuff there I don't want to get yet. So hopefully... Ah, oh, fuck it. God damn it. I knew it. And it blew up the fucking oxygen, too. That's like the one thing I actually wanted. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> no harm done. I, uh, there wasn't that much stuff there, so it didn't really matter. It did pop a bunch of these aluminum panels, but it gives a crap. Um, it didn't damage anything that's valuable. Like, these things are undamaged, so that's good. <clears throat> uh, but basically, yeah, you want those door panels. They'll be on either side of every door, like so. And, um, let's see. Yeah. All right. Well, now that I uh, <laughs> now that I blew up my oxygen, uh, what you call it, my oxygen thing, I kind of need to go get more. But I'm gonna wait a second. I like to wait till the last minute. Pull these guys out of here. These little things aren't hard to navigate through the door. But the big objects, I'll wait until I clear this door frame out. Uh, and yeah, you, you can get the door frame out. Uh, it's a little clumsy, but it makes it way easier to pull out. Um, well, you know, these things and whatnot. So, Alright, let me uh, go get some oxygen. And let me show you a technique you can... You can left click and then sort of reel yourself in but it's actually really dangerous <laughs> so you gotta be careful be, be ready with the hand z and x to grab a hold with the hand Morning. Yep. oxygen reserves are critical some oxygen don't think i need more tethers i think i pretty much have enough to finish what i'm doing so let's take a look at what we've got left uh I, this is pretty much ready to go if you want, you can pull off these little lights. They're 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 almost negligible. Um, I'm gonna pull one off just so I know how much they're worth. Yeah, you see how long that takes to pull off, and there's a bunch of them. Uh, so they, I I don't bother with them. One thing I do want to do though, is I want all this aluminum, but I also want this nanocarbon plating. So now I'm gonna show you what the split saw is actually very good for, and that's this. So I'm going to come up here, and measure a cut here, 
and there's no real fine way to do this. It's, it's all just kind of a guesstimate. Boop. And boop. Hopefully that got the other side. Boop. And voila! That is free. Free from its tethering, its mortal coil. Alright, so then we want to come in here and free out this flooring. He's cutting up this guy here. This thing is moving. It's not me that's moving, it's the thing that's moving. Bam! Is that not... Oh, yeah, sometimes if you're at a bit of an angle, it won't do a clean cut, which I hate. There we go. Alright. Bam! Get in there, nanocarbon. That nanocarbon's worth a lot, so you want to make sure you separate that and put it in the appropriate place. So this is all this is all furnace stuff. Everything that's on here, except for this little bit here, that's titanium, and uh, we don't give a shit about titanium. At least I don't. So I'm gonna pull it. Are you freaking serious? Uh, all right. So just tether this guy into the furnace. It's a lot of weight, so you're gonna need a couple of tethers. Um, the big thing about multiple tethers is um, when you have a lot of weight. Oh, geez. oh did I really just do that? Right, I really did that. Got five it hit to this that last one. I'm so fucking. Old. I, I'm just stupid rough. sometimes. Anyway, <laughs> tethers only last so long. So if it's a matter of having enough life on your tether to get the thing to the place where you want it to go. And if I, it, it, one tether would be enough to pull it in there, sure, but, um, Thank you for your Thank you for your um, shit, what was I going to say? Yeah, one tether would be enough to get it in there, but the tether would, would run out of life before it actually reached the furnace. And uh, there it goes into the furnace. And that's, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. So that's good that we kept that. Anywho, anywho. <laughs> I'm going to do some cutting here. Um, what we want to do is free this door. So I'm just going to cut around it. Just cut that. Go up here. Cut this guy here. You can hold control to keep the... Um, if you hold control, it'll keep the... Um, oh, what the hell is it called? The split saw from pushing you backwards. Uh, this is so awkward. Oh, there's that. I, I hate having to do this like one little cut. There's also stuff behind this frame, so I'm a little concerned about damaging it. Yeah, see that? I don't want to make that cut right there. I want that. There we go. Okay. Now. Um, oh, alright. Yeah, whatever. I'll just. Ugh, seriously? It just smacks me in the face. I barely tapped right click and it just BAM! Just face plant. Uh, okay. Ah, oh, damn it, that's the wrong place. Oh well, who gives a shit? That stuff's not worth that much. Um, the problem is, what is this stuck on? Is it these guys? Um, I know <laughs> this is silly, and I know it's going to change at some point in the future, but um, the door frame is actually stuck on these. It's attached to the storage bins, which is weird. Um, Sucks trying to get these out of here, but if if you're patient enough, smack myself in the face again. See, this is what you want. You want it to be in, like that, so you can get it out the door. Oh, okay, and I'm running out of time. I've got two minutes left. I better hurry. Um, okay, so let me just come on, <laughs> work with me here, damn it! Bam! Get in that barge. Smacked it on the side there. I don't think the uh. Oh, they, they don't. They don't have points. Okay, yeah, that's... See? That's what was holding the damn thing. So this goes... Oh, that's... That's processing. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, there was like a little bar or something. That's... Yeah, there's the processor. <coughs> okay, so now we can pull all this crap out of here. 
and I gotta do this quick so I don't really have time to talk about it but yeah you pull out these guys here now you want to get a good distance before you do the computer terminals and the computer terminals are actually quite valuable so you want to be careful you want to be careful pulling them out uh, sometimes you can't help damaging them because like I said before the, the game is kind of glitchy and sometimes it just spazzes out on you as soon as you release it from the wall uh, if that happens, you can just sort of let go of it and then grab it again real quick. Let's see if I can... Nah, it's not going to do it. <laughs> but I'm actually wanting it to do it, to show you guys it's not going to do it. Yeah, that was like fucking perfect. What the hell? Uh, Alright, so there's a lot of aluminum here, but it's going to take me friggin' forever to, to get it off of there. So I am just going to pull these lights off. What? Oh, damn it. Son of a bitch. I probably just screwed myself. Hopefully I can get I can still get this into the processor. Okay. Yeah, like I was saying, there's a whole bunch of aluminum there, but um uh the nano the whatever it is, paneling is worth way more. So if you can harvest that, it just it makes up for what you're losing in aluminum. So I'm not that worried about it. And in it goes. So once you're all done there's a little piece. Once you're all done, uh, if you're worried about little schniblets or pieces that you want to pick up before your time is up, just hit the scanner and just look around. Just look around. Yep, just look, see if you can see anything. Oh, there goes my time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hey, there it is. Uh, let's see what we lost here. Eh, we lost some nanocarbon, which is not great. Um, not a lot. That is a lot of aluminum paneling. That's probably the cockpit right there. Yeah. It just... It just... The cockpit is just such a complicated... I I have yet to really figure out a good way of cutting it out. So if any of you guys are watching this and you know of a good way, a, a reliable way to cut the cockpit apart, please, please let me know in the comments. I, I'm dying to know... <laughs> And uh, likewise, if you see anything you want to add to, if there's anything you think I did wrong, don't hesitate to, to talk about it. Just please tell me in the comments. I don't care. Like, I'm not going to be insulted, I swear. Like, just be as be as harsh as you want to be in the comments. I, I need to know this shit, and I don't, I don't care. I, you won't hurt my feelings. Trust me. Um, I'm just happy for the information. I, I'm so glad with the response I've been getting from Steam and from Twitch. All you guys are awesome. The community has been so great helping me. Um, <laughs> I have to admit, the Steam people are, are um, a little toxic, <laughs> but but they still help. I mean, I, even, even the most toxic comments, I, I, I usually learn something from them, so it's, it's all right. But uh, anyway, hey, thanks for watching, guys. I, I really appreciate watching me. That's my technique for Shipbreaker. It's what I found works. Um, I'm going to be making lots more videos, hopefully, of this. I love this game, and I, I can't wait to see what the developers do with it. Um, it's amazing what they've done with the um, Unity engine. I just these Some of these Unity engine games just... Blow me, blow me away! I can't believe what they've done with with the engine. Um, but I, like I said, I, I'm going to be making some more videos. But that's going to be after I figure out the game a little more. I think my next video is is going to focus on explosions and stuff. I, I definitely want to blow some stuff up. So we'll we'll see what happens.